Okay, so you may be wondering, what am I doing with the mallard on the tracks? Well, we're doing a little test. We're going to see if the mallard can beat its speed record of 125.88 miles per hour. I mean, we won't actually have it going at that speed in real life. We'll do it in scale miles per hour. And this is going to be our starting point, the end of this platform. But first we're going to do a warm-up lap where it gains its speed. So, let's start it running. Five laps and stop! What was our time, Mr. Cameraman? 34. So, we've done five laps in 34 seconds with our Hornby Mallard. Is that beating the, the actual speed record of the original Mallard? I don't know, because I don't know how to work, out, work it out. Oh, well, let's work out scale miles per hour then. That's easy to do. Yeah. Have you, first of all, have you finished your maths homework this week? Yes. You have? Yes. Brilliant. Let's do more maths homework then. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today we're going to try and work out scale speeds um, for our, um, our Hornby Mallard that we were racing earlier. Um, we were trying to beat the, the land speed record that the, um, the original Mallard broke and that was set. Uh, and we're doing it in scale. So working out scale speeds is similar to working out normal speed. Um, what's the formula for speed, Archie? How do you work out speed? Distance divided by time. Absolutely right. Distance divided by time equals speed. speed. Excellent. Um, now then, um, so for example, as a simple example, if we had a um, hundred kilometers, for example, as our um, distance, and a vehicle did it in say two hours, we just divide 100 by two. And what do we come up with then? 50 kilometers per hour. Absolutely, yeah, that would be 50 kilometers per hour. Um, but of course, that's a very simple sum. We're not gonna do that sum, that's way too simple. We've got a slightly more difficult one. The only thing that's gonna make ours more difficult is we're working in scale. Um, so we add another figure to this uh, formula here, which is the distance times scale, then divided by time. Okay? Uh, and that should give us our scale speed. Okay? This makes sense so far, doesn't it? Right. We measured the distance around our track, and we found it to be... Um, it was 1,000... 104 millimetres. Um, then what we did, we went round the track five times to try and get a more accurate and averaged out uh, speed. So we multiply that by five. Archie, off the top of your head, what's, um, what's that multiplied by five? You did five times table in school, did you? Yeah. What is it? I can't remember that far, but I think the answer's 20,520. Oh my goodness, aren't you absolutely right? Well done. Um, yeah, 20,520 millimetres is the distance around our track five times, which is the lap that we were doing with the Mallard. Now, of course, um, we need kilometres rather than millimetres. So to do that, we're going to move the digital point. Of course, if we move it one place that way, we get centimetres. If we move another two, we get metres. If we move another three we get kilometers so that's going to be our uh, the distance that we're working with um, it's going to be 0.02052 yeah that makes sense kilometers um, now we have to multiply that by our scale the scale in this case because we're using OO gauge is uh, 76 a factor of 76 so we're going to multiply by 76 of course if we were using n gauge that would be what is it 
145 or something, OO gauge would be 87, but anyway, we're on uh, OO, so yeah, we're going to multiply that by 76, I don't know Archie, can you do that off the top of your head? Oh, uh, I used to know my 76 times table, I don't know why I don't know it actually, I think the answer's 1.5595. Archie, <laughs> you're absolutely right, it is of course, uh, One point five five nine five kilometers okay so that's our uh, our total distance um, in real terms now as we've done the scaling up and so we just have to divide that by the time now the time we went around our track was 34 seconds wasn't it yeah. uh, so we want to divide by 34 seconds in actual fact, we don't want to know kilometres per second, we want to know kilometres per hour. So to make that into hours, we have to divide the 34 by 3,600. Does that sound right? Because there's 3,600 seconds in an hour. Does that sound right to you, Arch? Mm, I think so. Okay, so the answer to that should be somewhere around uh, 0 0.0944 recurring. Are you with me so far? That's how many hours. So now we have 1.5595 kilometers and we're dividing it by 0. Point zero zero nine four 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 hours. Does that all make sense so far? Uh, yeah. Okay. Can you do that some quickly in your head, Arch? Oh, I think it's one hundred and sixty-five point one two four. <laughs> it's close enough, Arch, I'll give you that. Yeah, it is uh, 165.124 scale kilometres per hour. Absolutely excellent. You see, it's not that difficult a sum. I think we can do that at home if you've got a mathematical genius next to you, like Archie. I actually just used a calculator. <laughs> or if you just use a calculator, <laughs> of course. Um, now then, that's kilometres per hour. What we're trying to find out is miles per hour. The reason we did all this starting off in kilometres and millimetres is because it's an awful lot easier than working miles per hour. And we can now work up miles per hour simply by um, working out that um, a kilometre is, I think, 0.62 of a mile. So if we multiply all that by 0 0.62... I think we'll come out with the answer of 102.4, I think it is, miles per hour. Which is the scale speed that our mallard was doing, 102.4 miles per hour. It did look pretty fast on the track, I thought. Mm. But unfortunately, it's not fast enough, because the real mallard went at 125.88. Admittedly, it was on a straight and we were having to do corners, but... And our... also, they were on a downhill slope. You're of. right, I think they were on a bit of a downhill slope, and we were on pretty much level, weren't we? But, what we have worked out on one piece of paper quite easily there, is scale miles per hour for our track, which means we can now start working out other things. What do you think can beat the Hornby's world record for miles per hour in steam. The pocket rocket. The pocket rocket might do it. I think next time we're going to look at the pocket rocket and how that does in scale miles per hour. <laughs>